Hey, I'm still lying down. I'm still in bed, but I have so many ideas right now. I feel like I'm just being flushed, bombarded with positive bombardment with um, all these wonderful ideas. It's so awesome. It's Halloween. I've been celebrating Halloween, and uh, there were two parties. One was at my work, and I felt really uncomfortable going uh, as abundance. <laughs> my dress, actually, I was wearing a dress, and I was uh, I put on Monopoly money, Mainopoly money, from Main Island that my friend created, and it was it was a really funny costume because then I was carrying a bun, and. I uh I like put Monopoly money in the bun and it, it it was actually amazingly transformative. I it's just boggling my mind right now, like how much an intention can can shift things if I allow God to help me and if um yeah, it was just completely different experiences um that I would like to share and I think I will actually post a lot of the videos that I that I deleted previously because I was, I guess, very self-conscious. But I think my path is the, what's the important thing, you know, like the trajectory of change. And I guess me having always been like somewhat resistant towards like Christianity and the religious organization and all those kinds of things. I'm starting to understand more what the loving God is about and how my rejection of the Bible is shifting because I have I'm gaining a deeper understanding of the power that actually lies behind the words rather than the words itself. You know, I feel like even if the words to me are somewhat distorted you know like sometimes I read it and I'm just like what on earth you know like for example the book of Job and it just really triggers me and what it really triggers is my wounds to my my birth father um anyway so oh god I have so many ideas I hope that I can get them out like please speak through me um So I went to two Halloween parties. My first intention was to have fun. Like for the first party, I was just like, yeah, I just want to have fun. I had one glass of wine and felt really awkward. And, I, you know, my intention behind it was that I wanted to be abundance again. I wanted to embody abundance again. And knowing my birth father's obsession with money, I thought it was kind of funny to dress as abundance with the intention to actually like embody true abundance. So I went to this party and I didn't really actually have a very good time. I was just like, yeah, meh, you know, it, it wasn't really, I was drunk and, and I felt really awkward and not connected to them and to anything. And I left after a couple hours and it was funny because Nobody really understood my costume in the beginning, like, which is fine. I mean, it's, it's it was a tricky one. Um, and then yesterday I was at work, and it was a really long day at work, and I wasn't going to go out, but a friend of mine was going back home for a couple of months, so I decided, you know what, like, I'm going to go, and I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to go. So I dressed up super quickly, and I didn't really care that much about what people thought about my costume but I remember when I was getting out of the car I put my hand on my heart and I said oh no previous to that my friend was going to dress up as Jesus and I said to him you know what I think that it would be better if you would not like I think Jesus is a really cool guy and I don't I don't think it, it would be nice to mock him in that kind of way like I just and I said it in a nice way, and it was like, I don't think that that's a good idea. And it was, it was really nice. I mean, I know 
Halloween is kind of a mixed bag with like spirits and all that kind of stuff and I'm aware of that. Um, but I went and when I got out of the car, I, I knew that I didn't want to drink anything because I have the most fun when I'm sober and and it's like it's the cho it's a choice of how we want to connect and who we want to connect to and that's what i'm understanding now at a deeper level is that i want it to be connected to other people and the only way that i would be connected to other people is through alcohol and drinking and i can see how that allowed entrance to the Jezebel spirit as well um, I didn't want to be alone, I guess. I didn't want to feel alone. I wanted to share, feel the sense of camaraderie. And um, it was an interesting experience because I went into this party and oh, I never finished saying what it was. And I got out of the car and I just said, Jesus protect like I just asked for protection I was like Jesus protect me I'm protected in you and in God and thank you and it was really brief and I was just but when I walked into this party I just wanted to dance and not in like a sexual way or anything just it was this like innocent dancing of having fun and allowing myself to have fun to enjoy myself to to f that energy to flow through me and it was it was amazing because I just had s it was like I lit up on the inside and it felt really good and my friend was trying to <laughs> he kept coming up and wanted he tried to make me not make me drink but like try to get me to drink and he, he kept saying repeatedly how he had this like urge to corrupt me the whole night like he was just like I just really want you to drink like and, and he was laughing at the same time because he's a really sweet guy but it was just like hilarious he's just like I want to I just feel this huge sense that I want do you want to smoke pot do you want to do this and I was like no I don't actually I feel really really amazing right now and and now I understand like in retrospect that that's that was because I I was connected and I was protected and that's the connection I was looking for. And so like slowly pieces are piecing themselves together. And I guess I'm co-creating this with him because it's not just him. Because I am also doing the work. It's not, it's co-creation. And um, yeah, it was, it was just interesting experience because in the past I would get really annoyed by people that were drunk around me but I feel like I was in such a good space that I was able to hold and carry all of that and and it didn't really affect me so I guess I've been setting the intention or we have been co-creating um, letting go of my birth father um, and his influence on my connection to the true living God and that's been really insightful because I realized that I'm surrounded by people that are not that I feel are like and this may sound weird and odd but if I explain it it might make more sense um, that are like uh, not awake or not interested or not Um, I feel really overwhelmed by all the insights that, that I'm receiving right now. It's the, it's what's happening to me is the emergence of God creating through me. That's what I feel like is happening. It is not like based from like, I'm the creator. It's based on, I am creating and he's creating and we're creating together because there is not, uh, the hierarchy is collapsing inside of me and the hierarchy was that between my birth father and me and he always wanted to belittle me and he, he, he derived his sense of worth and value and all these things 
by keeping me small and by keeping me looking up to him and 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 it's interesting because those things really existed inside of me so that's where the like creative aspect comes in like it's my job to allow and to actually uh take the action steps to heal those kinds of things like i could feel how that was hanging over me and how that was inside of me and i am pretty certain that the jezebel spirit was like muddled or is muddled into certain aspects of of that through you know um like love addiction and things like that that have been running in my family um, through family trauma, through neglect and all those kinds of things. Those things, I think, really open up the door for spirits to come in and, and perpetuate unless we, we realize that that's happening and then we can like allow shifts to take place and, and actually not just allow them to take place, it's actually taking action too. I feel like my perception is shifting in, in a healthy way that it was like either I am creating everything or God is creating everything. And it's neither. Like I am creating and he is creating. And the more responsibility I'm taking, the more he can come in and, and help me shift, right? It's like, it's, and you could call it, higher self and but all these things are really tainted I feel like and the thing that the word that most resonates with that feels right to me is to use God not the religious God but it's interesting the more I clear the past patterns and my perceptions and religious past and stuff the more comfortable I feel with the term God and um you know the emotional the more the emotional baggage drops from around those terms I feel, because I feel who he really is, rather than feeling all the triggers around it. So it was interesting, even as my friend yesterday was talking about how he really wanted to corrupt me, I could see how that was not him wanting to corrupt me. I could see how that was not him, because I've been there before. I have had those feelings before of things wanting to corrupt me and me wanting to corrupt other people and you know it's interesting when you've had that experience and you can start seeing it in other people it is incredibly powerful because if those people are willing to shift it it's like you can hold them in you can hold them in that space you know in that space of seeing truly seeing them and seeing that it's not really them, it's something that is actually working through them that is in the head, that has infiltrated their space in a way and is rooted in, in uh, you know, pain patterns and stuff from ancestry and, yeah, ancestry being your own childhood as well. And I guess that's what, like, the sins are referring to. I feel like sins is, yeah, I don't know. They obviously wrongdoings, yes. That's what they're rooted in. But they're not necessarily rooted in wrongdoings of yourself and it's yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, I had an amazing time at this party. I stayed until like one o'clock in the morning and I was able to drive all the drunk people home <laughs> and make sure that they're home safe and um, I guess at some point I'm gonna have to be the friend that's like, you know, get your shit together. But I feel like, um, something that's coming to me is, maybe there's a reason why I attract people or why I like, like, there's a pattern in place, um, from my father, like I said before, that he would derive things that maybe I feel better unconsciously because I feel like I have my shit together more around people that don't have their shit together. So that's interesting. So that means that if I feel like my value for having my shit together is not externalized, I will not need those people around me anymore and they can shift. So 
I feel like that is something that I'm realizing and that I'm starting to really strongly believe in is that that it's God is not just someone who saves and delivers it's someone who helps me see how I can shift and how how I can how I can unblind other people by unblinding myself and by you know deriving value from the worldly world but from from inside of me and from him right like not from him not from him but that it's already inside of me my value is not defined through the worldly world it's defined through my my birthright of who I who I am at my core essence that is my value so the more I let go of those things the more the people around me can shift and I feel like that is something that Jesus I don't know I just feel like that's I feel like the the, the way the Bible is written I'm questioning questioning its meaning and um, it's when you do this deep inner transformational work that is required to become to get closer to God is that through my own transformation I make people see it's and that is the power of Jesus to me Jesus helps me see things inside of me he works inside of me and by working inside of me and shifting things inside of me what I am attracting into my life is also shifting because that's just part of this reality, right? So this is where I'm at right now and my current understandings and it's it's really quite beautiful because I can see how my birth father as you know my perceived God is starting to really shift and lift and I've been releasing a lot of shame from him and from me and letting go of the need to save him because I think that's a role that they projected on me you know their savior because I knew a lot of things and I was wise and and they were desperate in, in their pain and um, but also the externalized savior right like always looking for a man to save me um, is really looking for a god and that relationship with God inside inside of me and yeah this video is really long right now Pooh. but yeah yesterday I woke up and I I heard a voice to read the Bible and and I read the Bible I read um, Exodus and it was very powerful and I can see now how by costume how powerful that costume was because abundance is abundance, you know, like I was dancing and dancing can really connected me to to God and 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 that is when I felt abundant. I felt joy, I felt his not, you know, if I say his joy, it's his joy. It's our joy. It's it's the joy of our relationship. The joy of being together. The joy of... The joy of... It's just joy. Like It's not his joy or my joy. It's, it's our joy of being together, I feel like. Yeah, so there's always more to clean up. And... But yeah, so one thing that I would like to really question is like, how did, how did Jesus make people see in the Bible? How did he heal the lame? How did he do that? And how powerful we are in our co-creationary process with God and shifting things around us. And that's something that I would like to explore. One thing that I did have to let go of was, in this path, was um, 
I had to integrate evil into me. Like I had to, like when I release the Jezebel spirit, I can feel like a very a lot of pain and a lot of like I really intensely felt the love addiction and like the strong like need to like suck something in and to really go through that it's not like airy fairy like poof everything's gone and I'm saved it's not it wasn't like that um I actually have to go through letting that stuff go from ourselves from our cellular memory um re Generation, regeneration, regenesis, right? It's like regener we're regenerating ourselves from the inside out. And I feel like that's the power of the heart, the Jesus, um, um, is a process. And I'm loving it. Okay, that's all for now. <laughs>